Hello Scale Modelers, welcome to a kit review from the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. This is the Fujimi Porsche 911 Turbo Cabriolet in 124th scale. Let's have a look at the box art for this model kit. We will then move to opening the box, showing the contents of the box, and then take a deep dive into each individual sprue. This kit review, along with all others I produce, are to be informative to the viewer, like you, to help you decide if the current prices you are seeing for this kit are worth it. Let's go through the box quickly and then deep dive into the contents. Let's start our deep dive with the instruction manual. The manual starts off with step 1, parts A and B on the front page. We start by building the engine. An engine in a Fujimi kit? Not curbside? That's right, I said it, a full detailed engine and it's a Porsche. Now moving to the next page, parts C and D, you continue to build the engine. Step E caught me off guard as it is an engine mount. The engine can be built for display purposes or can be installed in the rear engine bay to make a kit a non-curbside. Pretty cool, right? Step 3 we work on the other parts of the chassis with parts J and K. Step 4 we work on the interior. Step 5 we continue to work on the interior including the dash. Step 6 is installing the front spare tire in the trunk and step 7 we install the engine in the rear engine bay including the mounted exhaust. Step 8 is installing the glass to the body. Steps 9 and 10, you glue on the body parts to the body. Step 11 is installing more body parts and the clear parts like the headlights. Step 12, you have the option to have the convertible open or closed. In this step, we also install the tires. The final step of the instructions is step 13, where you install the front trunk lid and install the rear engine bay cover and the spoiler. The decal sheet is detailed and interesting. We can see information pertaining to the Porsche about the body dimensions and the engine specs. This is something nice to add when displaying the kit or if you take it to a contest. Moving on, the next brew we see parts for the engine which are well defined. We also see the brake cylinder, manual stick shift, handbrake which is crisp on the details, the steering column, the rear engine compartment cover, and the door cards. 
this so far is turning out to be a great looking kit. On this sprue, we see most of the remaining parts for the engine. We also see the transmission and the engine stand can be found on the top left of the sprue. This sprue we have some minor chassis parts, some remaining engine parts, and the brakes to name a few. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and hit the notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows viewers like you to do for free. Here we have our struts along with the rack and pinion and some more chassis parts. Here is the spare tire that is molded to part of the interior trunk compartment. We will see the single wheel that will be installed on this part in a future sprue. Next we have some interior parts including the seats that are molded in one piece which is a nice touch. Here we have some interior parts including the dash, multiple gear shift options, multiple steering wheel options, and two spare tire wheels to choose from. This kit gives a fair amount of options for detail parts. This sprue gives you two options for the convertible top, open or closed. I will use both to allow me to display them all differently at contests in the future. Our first white sprue we have the chassis along with bucket lights and side mirrors. For products that I use to suit my building needs along with my airbrush setup, information and links can be found in the description below. This sprue we have body parts for the front and rear along with the side rocker panels. If you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button and comment below if you have this kit in your stash or if you have built this kit and any issues you found with the kit during your build. The spoiler came off the sprue tree, so here's a look at it. Here is our first clear sprue that has the side window vents along with the rear window if you choose to have the convertible top open. The second clear parched sprue has the front windshield with the side window vents molded in clear for the headlights, and other clear parts, which one appears to be the cover for the engine compartment, so it is visible.
This is the rear taillight bar that fell off one of the clear part trees. Here are the tires and wheels. The wheels are very nice and period correct. The tires have a good tire tread to them. Taking a look at the body, unfortunately for this specific kit I own, the side window vents have a few breaks in them with the plastic being so small and the box is probably crushed to an extent. This isn't a big issue for me, but I will need to glue and fix this issue. You can find the glues I use in the description below with links to the products for easy viewing. The body overall is detailed well. The panel lines will need a once over to get them a little deeper and it will give the paint something to grab onto in the panel lines. Nothing that needs to be sanded or removed inside the body, which is always a plus in my book. The kit overall is very well made. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.